Full filter letter S, strategies. Yeah, strategies. I mean, again, the double literary will sort of soak up the strategies. And by soak up, I was, I was giving a little nod to the idea of deliberate practice okay. and really having to do these things. Mm. So there's a few different ways you can do the strategies. There's specific strategies, which will be context dependent. And then there's a meta layer, which is how to practice the strategies. Okay. And so if you think about the soaking up is kind of how to then practice the strategies. And the individual strategies might be you know, very specific. Strategy for writing an essay is not the same as strategy for building a wall or, you know, plastering an arch or yeah. something like that. So um, this is really the grunt work. A lot, and a lot of a lot of people sort of go straight to the strategies. Right? Yeah, you I know. think you, you kind of like skip everything. You know, like. And in the UFAS, we're not saying you have to spend the same amount of time. The, the unpack, if done well, will be really interesting, could be a long time. The facts might be quite a lot. Analogies in some contexts might be more, nothing more than just a little nod to being able to talk about things. Yeah. The strategies, a lot of the time, will be, well, this is the actual doing of it. And a lot of the meat of a particular subject is the, is the doing and the practicing. Um, and, you know, there's, there's nothing really that you can say other than if you've got a good coach, they will give you the strategies which are going to give you the best results. Yeah. So the access to the domain expert really helps in this context. We say, well, listen, you could apply, you could apply it all the time in the world and all the energy and enthusiasm in the world, but if you've got the wrong technique, you're not going to be able to throw the javelin very far. Yeah. Right, I was, a, well, I, was, I was a pretty tiny kid when I was young, so when I was about age 13 or 14, I would throw the discus for my school. And I wasn't even in the top sort of 10%. Uh, I, I was sort of in the bottom 10% of kids when it came to height. I know that because I had to sit at the front of the class. But why was I throwing the discus? Why was I representing the school throwing the discus? Because my uncle Dennis was really into athletics. I went to stay with him for a month one summer. And he taught me the technique of throwing a discus. And that's it. And I was still a whip, whippersnapper. I was, I was tiny. And I could throw it twice as far as some of these other really burly kids. So it's all about technique. So having the right technique in the context, the appropriate yeah. technique. So, so why don't I um, throw this back to you and say, you know, when have you tried to do things and realized that this technique for learning, this mastering, this isn't very good, and another technique is, and what has been your kind of experience of that? Yeah. Uh, Give me some for instance. It, it seems like um, every time you ask me this, I, I, I go away from learning because I was thinking about swimming. Oh, or swimming, yeah, yeah. swimming is good. Um, yeah, I, was, I, was, I kept trying to learn the breaststroke and I wasn't a great swimmer at school, yeah. but suddenly, and, and maybe it was because I was, you know, there's, there's a lot yeah. of things that happen at school, but um, a couple of years ago, I, I started going back to the pool and even doing some open water swimming and, and somehow the, the breaststroke came back to me. Huh. And it was a combination actually of, of realizing what I was doing before was actually completely wrong and, and the, uh, the so my so how my did you realize that? well well because I, I can't tell it just felt un unnatural right um, and I would always think back to what my swim teacher told me about like forming the cake and cutting it and something like that it, that was that was right, how I'd been right, taught okay. and I'd always even now I'm telling you because yeah, yeah, it's a story it's yeah, stuck yeah. in my brain and I would always try to do that and for some reason I'd never realized that the hands and the legs weren't supposed to be doing that at the same time Ah. So, so I was doing this forming the game and cutting it all at the same time oh. and obviously it's not going to work because the, yeah, the hands are supposed in, to do it yeah, first yeah, and then yeah. legs come after. And, but um, that, that precise bit had never been pointed yeah, out and to so you. that strategy was there, it was been, it had been taught, but it was never mm. it's verified. It just wasn't or, an effective yeah, technique. And it wasn't effective yeah. for me. So yeah. the, the only way I got it was actually then sat down and watched a bunch of YouTube videos and I, I watched those um, videos Speedo makes and I'm like sitting there with a the video camera which is looking at the, the swimmer yeah. in the pool and like, oh my oh, gosh, that's how to do it. Was the, 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 the order was completely wrong. And I, I know it sounds a little ridiculous. I'm sure most people can work it out immediately. Well, I don't know that because I mean, I'm not a particularly good swimmer or at least I haven't yeah. been. Maybe with the right technique, I could be. Mm. Um, that's interesting, isn't but it? I, I wanted to ask because there, there's two parts to this, this mm. kind of story. Um, in many ways, so the, the strategy I was taught didn't exactly work for me. And the strategy that, that I learned was kind of YouTube video, but also yeah. very much me messing around sort and of working finally working it out. It out. Yeah. What, what would you say is more effective? The strategy mm. that you're given or taught or the strategy that you come up yourself? That's a really good question. I mean, ultimately, you're the arbiter of that mm. in terms of the results and being able to pay attention to when those results are working and not kid yourself. Mm. You know, um, Moses did 10 commandments and then sort of the 11th commandment is, 
thou shalt not kid thyself, you know, because like, see, you're the easiest yeah, person yeah, to kid. Yeah, yeah, we can always fool ourselves all yeah. the time. Um, so if you're really honest with yourself about what is working, um, just pay attention to your energy, pay attention to your results, pay attention to your patterns. Um, and I guess in a learning context, it's just like if you find yourself getting to learn something quite quickly and you can do it, then that, that's, that's really right, what you yeah. And if you're sort of, for some reason, the, the complex analysis is not quite working, sort of the strategy will be wrong. And it will be, given where you are right now, the strategy, strategy you're persisting with isn't right for mm. it. And it might be because of these gaps, you need to go back and actually make sure you've got these real solid things. And then, mm. Or it might be you just need to look at it completely differently.